Okay, this is a continuation of the video on the SA, the Shukom SA160 antenna analyzer. That's the device over here. Comes with a, okay, there's an adapter here as you can see, but that's a BNC connector, okay? And I got a BNC to uh, SO239 adapter. So what I do here is actually, oops, uh, connect this adapter on the top of the device and then I can put my antenna here. So you saw the 20 meter antenna outside, the MFJ mobile and I'm gonna just uh, you know get this back here again. Oops, give me one second to adjust this tripod so we don't shake much. Lots of wires and things around. And I'm gonna hook that up Make sure the connection is fine. Oops, okay. And now I'm going to focus on the device. See if I can make it the wire to position properly. Yeah. Sliding a little bit. Good. Good view of it. So let's power it up. Power it up and it calls for the firmware level and things like that. I'm going to put a zoom in there so you can see. SA160 version 4.1 and I have a few functions here let me just scroll down you can use a knob that is on the top here or you can use those function buttons and it's tough to read against the background oops uh, let's see if we can read that make sure I try my best here folks the top first one is F1 Second one is enter. It's really difficult to get it. I probably can see now. Third one is down. Fourth one is up. You can see those buttons. Uh, they are they, they change depending on the function, and those are the push buttons relating to those uh, to the functionality there. Okay, so I'm go, gonna go back here to to the main view where you can see most of the action. Uh, going on right here so I will move this down so I can, I can do a scan, a single scan, I can get some system information if I do an enter here you get uh, you can change the LCD brightness, you can change the timer, the auto shutdown, dim level, offset and if you want any beep or not, as you can see or here or not here <laughs> for that uh, for the better, uh, I, I, I shut off any beep, uh, any, you know, noise or sound after that. If you like the confirmation beeps, you can uh, set that up, no problem. Alright, so let's go back here to uh, my menu again. You can also enable or disable, as you can see, the SWR it's enabled, but you have also the impedance and the resistance that can be enabled or disabled to be shown together. So, let's say I don't know much what to do, and I just like to do a quick scan, or, or a full scan, if you will. Let's go to scan, and enter scan mode. And you can see I was doing some work in 40 meters, so I centered this to 40. But uh, you can see, also on the right, I am going only up to 17.4. So, this is in the range of 14, so let's uh, do some changes here and I'm pressing the button on top and actually let me center this in 14 or so so that's centered now let me run it so what I'm gonna do is push this button here which says scan maybe you cannot read but that's what it says and I'm gonna scan it Cool, huh? So, what do I see there? I see that at, and let me go back a little bit so you can. Okay. My resonance is at 1400, the beginning of, even below a little bit, the very beginning of the CW, and my SWR, it's 1.04. 
which you can see in this graph here is pretty pretty low right it's, this is the one line so just barely above it so what I can do now I can keep, click on view for instance and on view I can again play with this uh, little button here so I'm gonna turn this and actually get my oops give me one second I'd like to show the details here so that's why it's zooming and sometimes it's difficult to set it up all right so I'm gonna show you here is when I move that you can see on top at 14 100 14.1 I got my SWR at 1.2 as you can see right here so 14 2 so 14.2 on top I get now 1.5 all the way to 14 3 it's 188 and we go to 350 so it's 400 you know or so and about 232 okay so pretty well tuned antenna for the band that I want as you can see so few things you can do here I can change this SWR scale right for double or half if I want to see only my resonance point I can can do that and also I can go to what's called quick mode which I click on this right button here and now I have the scan 1 scan 2 scan 3 and exit okay so let's do a scan 2 those are predetermined frequencies so from scan 2 you see I'm starting at 16.6 I'm not getting there okay um, I can do a few things I can change and, and do a scan 1 which will pick it right as you can see again same data or I can go back and actually change a little bit my initial point go back to quick and you can see again that I'm out of range there so I can go with this thing all the way to 60 you go back to oops uh, I'm changing on the hundred so let me move to the right number there 60 so I can go all the way to 60 uh, megahertz and I can also do my changes on starting point um, on the my center frequency right so I don't want it to center on the 60 most of the time I would just go lower let's say again go to my 14 something and you have your your data there so again very easy to use very nice to use easy to set up easy to learn how to use um, you get a lot of data again I can enable let's go back to menu and let's just enable for instance the impedance I'll hit enter so now yeah now impedance is uh, highlighted as you can see I go back up do another scan oh this is a simple a single frequency scan I didn't want to do that that was my bad let's let me go back for now um, I need to go one up one more up for a full scan and let me do that so now you have it um, you have not just the SWR but also have the impedance there right and you can see the curve and you can also understand that uh, in here you are close to your 50 ohm there are supposed to have can do a view here and same idea is to you know change and you can see on the right side now here you see the the Z right and on the left I mean I'm sorry the, you see here on the left the Z and here the SWR oops 314 here 86 ohms there let me see on the resonance we have 152, 124, 110, 114. Yeah, I have about 769 ohms on 
on that point, which is the lowest SWR at 114, uh, and I am actually at 13.9 on, on this area. So I still have some adjustment to do in the antenna, as you can see. Uh, I can can get a little better. Actually, the 14 is 1.10. I would like this antenna to to you know to have a lower SWR on the SSB SSB band. So I need this at probably 14.2 or 14. Yeah, 14.2 would be good. I have to do some adjustment there. That's the usage of the antenna uh, analyzer. Also, you have a capability of doing a a single point. Let me just show you that, or a single single frequency. So if I click single here, it will run. At this point, it's set for 14.5, so this is out of range. As you can see, I got some data that's not so good, right? SWR 2.89, but I can change my my frequency there to let's say let's run this at 14.2, which is my target. Oops, too much. 14.2, and let me run that again just in case. But I think I'm running. I'm seeing the data there. See, I have still 1.6 there, which is pretty good. My Z at 55, and my actually my 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 resistance is pretty close to 50 ohms, 50.16. Uh, the Z includes all the um, capacitance and involved on on the transmission line, etc. Too. Okay, if you have any questions, I mean, I I, I really love this product. Um, price wise was 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 good. Um, support I received from 409 shop was great. By the way, I didn't make any money. I paid the full price for this, and um, uh, I'm just sharing my experience with this uh, little, very portable, as you can see, um, you know, antenna analyzer, which um, helps anybody, any ham or any enthusiast, actually to. To understand how to set up an antenna and how that antenna is actually behaving so this is my two cents for today i if you need anything to know anything about this product let me know i will be more than happy to try it i don't have the uhf vhf version they have the sa250 i'm probably acquire, you know planning acquiring that in the near future but i started with the hf which by the way is the newest model in the family okay thanks for stopping by subscribe share comment Hopefully I didn't shake this time, I'm using a tripod, and the focus the problems that we had there are inherent to, you know, my best attempt to get actually closer, close-up views, sometimes too much for the little camera I have. Come back soon, cheers!